Welcome back on the Halftime Show here on the PAC Sports Network. And uh, we're joined now by junior of the Geneva Golden Tornadoes, Lauren Tipton. Lauren, thanks so much for joining us. Um, first year head coach Michael Grinder uh, leading the way for this Geneva team this year. What's the transition been like for you and the players and yeah. in, uh, in working under Coach Grinder? Yeah. It's been really fun. He has a really his playing style is totally different and just the way he runs practice is really different, but he makes sure we're having fun, we're learning a lot. Um, he implicates a lot of running into practices, so we're ready for games and it's been really fun. It's been really easy for all of us. We've kind of just jumped into it. It's been good. And you mentioned the running. He yeah. employs a, a fast-paced style yeah. of play. Um, you know, what's that been like for, for the team, but also for you as being a post yeah. player? Yeah, it was a lot different than what we've seen in the past. It took us a little bit to wrap our minds around like what it looks like to not always run a set play and just to kind of utilize that fast break system. But we obviously we started to look a little better against our last few games. And I think we're finally kind of getting used to it, getting used to the idea that it's just going to be whoever's down the court first. Um, and so that's been going really well. I think we're finally getting used to it. It's definitely been a challenge just because you have to be in better shape to be able to do that for 20, 30 minutes, however long you play. So. Now you're in the midst of a very good junior year. You had a great sophomore season as well, but uh, you've parlayed that into a great junior year as well. How do you feel things have gone for you? It's, it's gone pretty well. It's always, it's always tough to, like, I feel like I, I've been doing well, but I just wish our team success was there and it always I always feel like I could be doing more um, to help the team but they've been they've been super great um, super super supportive and I feel like our team chemistry is doing well, really well but it's definitely coach um, coach Drake our assistant coach has been helping the post players a lot and she's been really patient with me and kind of keeping me up with the post plays and just really patient with me and coach Mike has worked one-on-one -on -one with me to help develop that too and so both of the coaches have been really supportive of trying to get me better trying to make me work harder to get to where I can be so it's been good. Well you had your breakout last year as a sophomore yeah. uh, averaging 10 points per game nine rebounds per game so basically a double double yeah. um, you know what led to your breakout year last year? I think last year we were having a rough season and coming out of Christmas break um, I just really thought that I could be doing more and um, we had a few coaches come in and help um, and just again really push me make me like kind of made me like think of myself as someone who could score more who could rebound more um, because there was a lot of me that wanted to just like Callie kind of do the work let the seniors do their thing but realizing that the team needs people to step up sometimes and um, just kind of having that confidence boost to know what I needed to do and that I could do it um, and again having teammates that were really supportive of that and kind and <laughs> sharing the ball well so and you mentioned the name Callie that being yeah. Callie Ford of course who'll go down as one of the best players in Geneva yeah. history with uh, the amount of points that she put up among other statistics now with Callie gone, obviously a lot of the defensive attention from opposing yeah. teams now turns to you. How have you handled that and, and you know, continued to progress your game? Yeah. It's been, the past few games I've started to see some more double doubles, or not double doubles, double teaming in the post, and so um, that's been harder, but it's just starting to see the kickouts around the three and just different options I have out of those double teams has been good. And again, coaches have opened my eyes a little more because it's hard to not want to just like make a move on them, but it's just not not realistic all the time. But it's been good. I've definitely had to learn how to adapt to that and I think it's gone well. And then the rest of my teammates kind of start catching fire and that, you know, relieves a burden off of me again. And yeah, as you, like Emily, Gina, a lot of our teammates have really been stepping up. So it's been really fun. To end your sophomore year, you had a terrific game against Teal that we had here on the PAC Sports yeah. Network, so thank you for that. We always appreciate <laughs> big performances when we're in town, but you put up 22 points, 20 rebounds, just a phenomenal performance. How much of a confidence booster was that particular game going into your junior yeah. year? That was huge. It was, it made me feel like I had room to kind of do that my junior year. Um, 
I felt like it gave me the confidence to come in and want to do that every game. Um, those, are, aren't, those are the kind of stats I wish I could get every game. And so it gave me goals for my junior year and it gave me the confidence to push for that every time I can. Now your younger brother Lyle is yeah. on the men's Geneva team. What's it like for you now to, to kind of share the basketball experience um, yeah. at the collegiate level with your brother? It's so much fun. It was obviously in high school I got to watch him play all the time and so coming to college I was so sad to not be able to see him and my other younger bro brother play but having him here because um, we have so many double headers we get to I get to see him play a lot and it's been really fun just to watch him grow into that and um, he's been doing he's been doing pretty well he's gotten to play some and so it's been really fun to watch him watch him do that and hopefully the next few years too sure PAC rookie of the week I believe yeah. earlier in the year as yeah. well so yeah doing a great job it's really fun. Uh, what's that like for your family too uh, I'm sure it has to be great because yeah. they're not just here for one game of a doubleheader right. but now two. Yeah. yeah and we live in Philadelphia area so it's a trip for them to come out but you know they get to watch both so it's perfect now, what's your major? Tell us about your major here at yeah. Geneva and your plans for the future. I'm in a secondary English education major, so um, hopefully after this I'll get a job at either a Christian school or a public school and teach high school English. I'd also, I'd love to coach. I think that would be really fun. I also played soccer in high school, so could coach that. Um, and yeah, have a dog, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, it's really exciting. Might move back to where my family is, so. That's Geneva Junior Post player Lauren Tipton. Lauren, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. We'll have more coming up next on the PAC Sports Network.